Hey Wootsuit family, it's Ryan here. I'm actually in the middle of grading papers, but I thought I'd take a procrastination break to talk to you about something that happened this week at work. So if you've been watching the podcast for a while with Jim and I, you know that I tend to talk a lot about productivity and being effective, not because I'm necessarily the most productive person or engaged in my work. In fact, most of the time I feel like I am very highly <laughs> not engaged in work. But that's the thing is I aspire towards something that I feel I'm not really reaching in my, my day-to-day work life. Every month I have a one-on-one with my boss and we sit down to talk about goals and problems that I'm having and she gives me guidance in terms of where to go for new projects. And in general, it's a pretty good thing. It started off as this kind of free form, you know, I just meet with her and discuss things and I proposed adding some structure to it. So I created metrics that I'd report on. Uh, And then when the metrics no longer made sense, I dropped those and instead had a running project list that I would give her updates on everything. But this month, things were a little different. I have discovered that the start of May is the worst time for me at work. It is the perfect storm of all of the business from the last, the winter semester. It's also though the start of the summer semester. And then the spring semester is also when the bulk of our faculty end up taking time off for vacation. So after May and June, we don't really see them again until mid-August when they come back to start preparing for their courses. And this wouldn't normally be a problem except in May when everybody is finally able to lighten their teaching load, we also start program review stuff. We look at the past academic year and say, okay, what worked, what didn't work, what kind of things do we need to change for the future? And we try to get everybody into the same room to have these conversations. So you have the closing of one semester, the start of a new semester, and then a whole program review cycle looped in there. So my first two weeks of May were crazy busy. I had meetings on top of meetings, I was double booked in the meetings, and whenever I wasn't in a meeting, I had a lineup of students waiting to see me. That's pretty good. I have found, since my last one-on-one with my boss to this month, so one, basically one calendar month, I was in nothing but reactive mode. I wasn't very proactive with doing projects, it was mostly just what's the next meeting I have to prepare for, what's the next student concern I have to address, and on and on and on. In between the last one-on-one and this one-on-one, I went to a conference in Montreal and I went to a PD session in Toronto for the day. I'm not saying this is like a humble brag thing that I'm busy, it's just for some reason, everything is crazy and everything in May seemed to all come ahead. And I just went into this tired, reactive mode where I couldn't see the horizon, I just kept my head down and kept grinding away at stuff. And when it came time to talk to my boss, I was a little worried because I started to review the things that I said last month and all the projects that I would have made progress on and realized I didn't really make progress on almost anything. And I was really worried about going to my boss to be like, yep, this last month I don't really have a lot to show for it. But I also realized that there was an important thing that I I needed to give myself permission to say to my boss and it is that this month has been crazy busy and yes I know everybody's busy but this month has been crazy busy and I have been I've been in nothing but reactive mode the entire time it it was you shut down all non-essential projects and you just focus on the kind of urgent immediate things and I think that's that was an important lesson to reaffirm for myself is that Sometimes you have to realize that there's just nothing you could humanly do to move the needle in any meaningful way. You're just going to spend your time putting out fires, going places, and just kind of being present as much as you can while you're trying to keep everything together and everything connected. Sometimes at your job, all you're going to do is just, you're just going to show up, you're going to do your best, and you're going to try your hardest to, to make it through and do something or at least wait until things start to die down and then you can kind of pick up the pieces and move from there all right it's time for me to stop procrastinating and get back to work so thanks for listening and don't forget stay awesome